Okay, we are getting started with lesson two for Canva and for making a workbook to be a companion workbook for your book or for a blog post or for whatever, but let's, um, it's really easy to do. So don't be overwhelmed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's really easy to do. Lesson one, we created our pages. And you would have downloaded those pages. Remember I told you to download them as an image or a PDF. And that was going to depend on what system you're going to use to merge all those different pages. You can create it all as a PDF at one time, but I kind of like to do each page um, separately just because um, that's kind of how I operate with a lot of different separate modules that I bring in all together. We are getting we are getting started with lesson two of creating a workbook in Canva. We are um, kind of taking it the easy way, which for me is just taking it all back one simple step at a time. So yes, the first lesson, we created all of our different pages that we wanted to use. And remember I told you to download each page as a PDF or as an image or, and as an image. Now, if you're going to do all of your creation within Canva, you're going to make each individual page and then you're going to merge those pages all into one long PDF, then you only need to download the images, either a JPEG or a PNG, okay? And there are other programs that you can merge all those pages into a PDF as PDF pages, but let's, we're just gonna focus on Canva right now. So you're gonna take your, um, you need to make sure that all of those images that you created yesterday, that you have uploaded them onto your, um, dashboard in Canva. And the way that you do that is simply click upload your images and find the images that you that you did. So let's say I haven't uploaded this one. This was that travel logbook page that I made. You and you can do bulk upload as well. You can click that upload image and you can click two, three, four, five images to upload. Just you know remember that you need to know your uh, internet speed <laughs> and if your internet can handle uploading that many images at one time it might take a little little long so even while it's uploading we can go ahead and get started so um, since we know that this is going to be a companion workbook to our book um, I like to make my first page uh, can be consistent with the branding and so I'm going to go over here and pop in an image of my prayer journal that I have already got uploaded in Canva and um, you are going to want to put a title on there and it can be something just as simple as companion workbook okay the other thing that you want to do is keep it simple and you want to make sure that the font that you use is kind of similar to whatever font that you use on your book. The, all the fonts are really pretty. I like having lots of fonts. I like to play with fonts, but in the marketing branding world, you know, they tell you that you kind of not need to have no you need to have no more than three fonts on a document or page that you're working on, or at least that's what I've heard. So that's the rule I try to adhere to. So companion workbook to this book. And um, now we're ready to start building our, our workbook. So we're going to add another page down there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the images that we've uploaded that were our workbook images that we made yesterday. So we can start with day one, 
and you're going to, you'll need to stretch it out so that it's the size of the page, but that's all you have to do. You created everything else in that page. Okay. So you just have to go and add another page now. Whoops. And it copied it in there. We don't want it copied in there. And it copied it because I had it highlighted. I probably should note that. I'll show you again how you can do that. Because if you've got a multiple page workbook that really, that every page was the same, and maybe it was like a, let me show you. Let's put, whoops, let's drag this page down here. And let's, pre, you know, pretend that, that, Maybe it's like a gratitude journal and everything, every page is the same, except you wanted it to be day one, day two, day three, day four. So you could have made it to where all that you add to each page is a title. Let's say this is day two. This stays the same. And now let's say that you, you need to make your day three. So you can add a new page. Well, now that should have copied. Oh, well, press copy. It copies the image and you bring it down. That's another way to copy. Sometimes these things are, are wonky and you could put, you know, day three. And if you don't want to have to retype everything, you can copy that block. You can drag it down. Then all you do is change to day three. And now let's add another page. Let's go back over to our uploads. Let's um, upload, maybe we've got another page. But anyway, you can just keep building like this, either where you're changing, where the only thing you are adding is headers, or if you've already done all your creation on those individual pages, um keep building it as long as you need we'll throw this one over there just for giggles and grins and we've got um no, nobody would really probably print this page because that's going to use a lot of uh ink but if you're making a fillable pdf this is you know this is how you do it you just keep building when you've finally got everything built you've got companion workbook ready and you want to download it as a PDF. Now you can pick and choose which pages, but we're building a workbook. We're building all the pages and we download and we follow the instructions and hold tight, <laughs> hold tight for our design. And in a minute it is going to pop up. taking a little while because it's a PDF and so it's got a lot of pages and it came up, it flashed up on my screen and it's finishing the download right up here in a minute. There's going to be an arrow that we can click and I'll share it and show you the PDF. Uh, all right. Boom. Here we go. Let me um, share that real quick. It didn't turn green, so I don't know if you are seeing it. There it is. All right. Companion workbook right there. There is your PDF. Now you may, depending on how your printer is set, you'll have to just play with this. You may need to, when you have put your images in, you, know, you might would have to not bring down that image so far because see when you go to print, it may cut off right there. So, you know, some of that setting you might have to change. I, I try to push the limit on my printer and I think my printer is um, it's so old and everything that um, it doesn't, it doesn't cut it off, but I've had another printer that it did cut it off and I needed to squish it up there, but you can, 
fit, you'll be able to figure that out one test print you'll you'll be able to see and know but anyway there it is there you have made your companion workbook for your book that's lesson two all right hope that helps somebody